you know what? Here's 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 an idea. Here's an idea for a fucking stupid ass video. Like I'm sitting here and I'm looking at like <laughs> I'm looking at no bullshit's absolutely intolerably shit fucking channel. And he hasn't he's been making videos aggressively the past few days. Um he's trying to pick it back up again, I guess. And Keep in mind, like, he can actually make a pretty good amount of money, even with just, like, the little views that he does make on it. Even though he's he's got, like, a lot of subs and he doesn't get that many views, because he makes so many, many, many videos, like, he can actually make bank doing this. Um, he has not made a video about the new Borat. However, he did make a video. Where did it go? Shit. I just saw it. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Where did it go? There we go. We're at two gets woke for the election. So this is three weeks ago. I figured we could just we'll we'll take a look at this and see uh where what his predictions were like and how close they were to uh to, <laughs> to being reality. I'll do my best not to give any spoilers, but honestly there aren't really any spoilers in that movie. It doesn't matter. It's it's a really good movie. You should watch it. But here we go. Hello. I like how his intro is like, but oh, this is really important. And all of a sudden you hear, hello and welcome to No Bullshit. And welcome back to No BS. Today we're talking about a 2006 film that is getting a delayed sequel that's coming out right before this U.S. election. We're of course in the middle of election season here. We're only one month away. To Also, like if you wear like really good cans like I've got on right now and you pay attention to like the audio quality because I do because I, I make videos I pay attention to this kind of shit um like it, yeah 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 you can you can hear him struggling to breathe on long sentences and like sometimes I think he's actually like eating while he's trying to fucking record <laughs> this fucking weird dude vote for the new president of the United States, which could be the incumbent, it could be the old president Donald Trump winning re-election, or it very well could be Joseph Biden, the old man, the old guy. Holy shit. What is with the fucking audio engineering that just Biden? What the fuck, dude? I who can barely get his diapers on to go to debates and go out and see the people that he wants to vote for him. So we're in the middle of election season, and I found a very interesting article about a new sequel to the famous 2006 film called Borat. Borat, of course, was a famous character played by Sasha Baron Cohen, and people probably remember this movie a lot if you were around and of age back then. I personally remember 2006 because... I I was in college at this time, and I remember the film premiered at our school early on because they used to premiere movies. They probably still do. They premiere these movies and give them a little demo at colleges to see if people like them before they're initially released to the... Yeah. So what? It's focus groups. Yeah. They do that all over the place public at large and that happened with Borat when I was in the university and it also was a cultural phenomenon you can't overstate how big of a deal Borat was it's kind of actually old school now and I know the quotes can kind of seem dated you say something like ah all right very nice very nice basically Borat is this kind of foreign character this kind of like Eastern European maybe like Middle Eastern kind of character he's kind of like nondescript nationality and essentially it's used by the I mean, they like legit say that he's from Kazakhstan. I bet you, I bet you, Brooks decided to to try and be like, uh, you know, Eastern European, Middle Eastern, you know, nondescript. Like, I don't think he remembered for one, a and for two. Like, I think he started thinking about Borat and realized he looked a little brown. <laughs> this comic to make fun of stuff and also it gets political a little bit like not too much but it's kind of about like international affairs it's about other countries it's about like the differences between them and us and it was just a really famous comedy from he he led a, a huge arena full of of rednecks in a chant about and, and like getting people to cheer for the idea of george bush bombing children murdering children <laughs> See, fucking idiot.
2006. Like I said, those quotes are like pretty overdone at this point. They were like the biggest thing ever when this movie came out. It was like super huge. So I wanted to stress that in this intro and then talk about the sequel some more because yeah, we will drink the blood of every man, woman, and child of Iraq. Yeah. Uh, how dare Borat be political unlike last time? Because the sequel is sounding like it's going to be disappointing and it seems like the creator has kind of jumped the shark. It says Borat sequel with Pence name and title to be released before 2020 election by Amazon. So there's a lot of red flags here. First of all, it's specifically going after Mike Pence, which indirectly is going after President Trump and the Republicans. Now, yeah, good. Fucking <laughs> so what? That's something I don't remember from the original Borat. I might have to refresh so myself. Evolution. I'm sure they might. Bitch. Hello, Daddy Jeff. Hey. Five months. I hope you are well. UWU. Oh, you know me. I'm just trying to stay warm in this frigid, cold wasteland of the North Pole. Yep. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for five months there, truly. Appreciate it, Joe. Uh, you don't know what jumping the shark is? You don't know what jumping the shark is? It's only the greatest reference ever. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got you. I got you. Here. It's very, very important that you understand uh, what this is, okay? So let's do this. We'll go over here. Bam. <laughs> Might have mentioned George Bush or the administration at the time, but this already seems like it's getting way more political and way more woke. That wouldn't surprise me either since the actor Sasha Baron Cohen. Anything is he is a Jew? Is that what you're gonna say? I don't think that's what he's getting. He's not that overt anymore. He used to be. Um yeah. <laughs> fucking shit. Anything that's not down with Trump isn't like literally stroking his old man balls is fucking woke to to Brooks here has been known to have some bad quotes recently. He's been bashing Trump and getting totally woke like the rest of Hollywood. So that's already a bad sign. And then there's the timing of this, the timing. It's coming out right before the 2020 election. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's soon. You can see why they want to capitalize on the current event. But it really, to me, seems like they're trying to sway the election. They're trying to get in there and be political. and kind of Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like make Pence and Trump look stupid so that people won't vote for them, that kind of thing. It's they are stupid. Yeah. Seems politically motivated, which isn't a good sign for comedy. It's not a good sign for the Borat series. Like this was a very funny series that, again, wasn't that political before. It definitely... Re yes, it fucking was. Oh my God, you idiot. Holy shit. Reference stuff that definitely goofed on Bush and I'm sure other politicians. But the fact that it's coming out like this right before the election, too, is makes me uncomfortable. It makes me quiet. I know, man. I know. Comedy guy I liked is an SJW. Way! <laughs> I am fucking little bitch. A very interesting thing. And then on top of that, it's being released by Amazon, which is owned by Jeff Bezos, of course. He owns the Washington Post, too. And he's just a very liberal guy. He uses his companies and his billions of dollars to try and influence things. And no, sorry. Jeff Bezos is not... He's not a leftist. No. He... he He's a corporatist, same as everybody else. And Brooks has no functional understanding of that. For Brooks, Brooks has the Brooks has the political understanding of like colorful blocks in a preschool playroom. Okay? That that's kind of like, do you like red or do you like green? Green! Okay. Red will use for all the things that Brooks doesn't like. That over there, uh, uh, playing in traffic, that's red. Ooh, we don't like red. You know, like that is that is the baseline functional understanding of this vapid, dense motherfucker. He doesn't understand. The, the, the depth of his knowledge is a fucking rain puddle, okay? Uh, and like <laughs> and somehow in between shoveling fucking buckets of food into his fucking face, he manages to rub together two little fucking neurons and come up with enough functional understanding to record himself making these dog shit videos. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. But like, I cannot even begin to, to, to tap into how stupid it is of an idea that Jeff Bezos is on the left. He's not. 
Neither's Joe Biden. He's not. Neither are the Democrats. They're not. The, the, the actual understanding of, of the, the political Overton window right now, especially these days, is that the Democrats are center-right. They're swinging back towards the center a little bit, but they ain't there yet. Sorry. It just is what it is. And Jeff Bezos does not want to actually enact uh, left-leaning political and economic policy. He don't. Neither does Google. Neither does Twitter. Neither does Facebook. They don't want that. They want right-wing economic policy, but they also want to pander to the left-leaning social policy. That's what they want to do. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody can understand this. It's not a secret. Like, it's, it's out there in the fucking open, man. It's so weird. And all this goes together. This is a bad, bad turn, a bad spin. It's a very poisonous pot that they're brewing here. And I'm curious where it's going to go. That's why I wanted to talk about it today and give you guys that background. And now we'll get to more of the story and the details. Borat is making his way back. Uh, to thanks for spending four minutes trying to give us that like that that, that little, little bit in here. There. The screen near you and Vice President Mike Pence's name appears to be used in the title. Actor Sasha Baron Cohen is returning as the controversial character he played in the 2006 Borat Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. The original film written and produced by Cohen follows the titular character a Kazakh television personality as he explores America. Amazon plans to release the film before the 2020 press. He's going to very slowly read this article to stress. It out. During debate. So the debate was a couple nights ago, and apparently he was bashing Trump. You know, it's just showing his bias. He's not a center player. He's not going after Biden, as far as I could see. I don't see a center player. Why the fuck do people need to? Why do people use this this shit dick fucking argument, man? Like, like you know, what? they're they're not in the center, and you know, I just can't get behind that. If they're not in the center, then that means I I, I just I really don't want to have to listen to their points of view. Well, you're not in the center, fucking Brooks. You're not in the center. You openly stated you openly stated that you were a jumping off point for the alt right. You, you, that was you. Like it's. <laughs> I wonder if I can find that. I wonder if I can find that. Uh, let's see. Twitter. No bullshit. Uh, let's see. Where did that go? It's just the most amazing. It's the most amazing clip. And if I can find it. It's so worth it. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is worth it. We'll just end the video here because, like, honestly, fuck you, Brooks. Fuck you. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Listen to this shit. No bullshit admits openly to grooming his viewers in the alt-right, calls himself a stepping stone, and Tara McCarthy praises him for being strategic. Listen to this shit. Look at this shit. First time they've heard someone say it's okay to be white, and it's because <laughs> I'm not just covering only that like i'm it might be they might bring them in because i reviewed the episode of south park or it might be i talked about star wars in a video and then the next week i'm talking about how uh you know the the, the things i was saying before how you know mtv or uh, another channel cnn has an anti-white video and then I'm, I'm going off on that and then they hear me say something like oh you know it's okay to be white white people do this and then i'll talk about the stats um you know on another side, I'll talk about the black crime stats and how they're wildly out of proportion. And it's just this problem that the media and everyone wants to cover up. So I'm, I'm like dealing with these race issues and I'm not trying to. OK, I mean, like. Uh, what, what, what? First time they've heard some. Um, let me. Yeah, that's and how they're wildly out of proportion. Sorry. And it's just this problem that the media and everyone wants to cover up so i'm i'm like dealing with these race issues and i'm not trying to okay i mean like fair enough i mean if you view yourself as kind of like a, a step on the ladder or however you would put it um then i mean that that in itself to me just sounds like you're str being strategic well, being you know it doesn't strategic. sound like you're kind of passive on this topic it sounds like you're actually just uh kind of Sugar coaching, as uh, someone said in the super chat. I really like to make make a point of saying, uh, "This is Tara McCarthy." Tara, 
uh, white people who breed with black people are committing bestiality. McCarthy, that Tara McCarthy, just, 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 you know, just throwing it out there. Yep. The message for normies. Um, sure. Sure. And- you could say that. You could say that. And I certainly have a strategy. Um, I'm not going to say I have some sort of uh, master plan. I'm not like plotting in the backgrounds and some secret discord server, like a lot of lefties will do nowadays and trying to attack people. But I have, I have a methodical uh, process. The process. last thing I'll say is, yeah, there's other tweets like other people have mentioned this gateway stuff. Um, yeah. I'm actually uh, Richard Spencer watches my show, but uh, he's mentioned wow. these other YouTubers that are other are good, like kind of stepping stones or, or gateways into into uh, further uh, more uh, active roles into the say the alt right or oh. um, even further into like ethno state wow. arguments and stuff wow. like that. So there's definitely like a a, a line, you know, it's a stepping. Wow! Damn. Dang, there's definitely a line, huh? Definitely a line for uh, for people to be a stepping stone in the alt right. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumb motherfucker. <laughs>